Come now incarnate Son, your life in us begun. Our prayer attend, come and your people bless, come give your word success, establish your righteousness, Savior and friend. Today's psalm is psalm number one. This is the opening of the book of Psalms. And even in this one, you'll hear those same familiar themes. Talking of the wicked and the righteousness and judgment and perishing and living and dying and all of those themes. So this is how the entire book of Psalms actually starts. Interesting that we don't actually get to the beginning until partway through the church year, but I hope that you have your Bibles in front of you or that you listen hard to the words of this psalm. Psalm number one. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path that sinners tread or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on God's law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do they prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. This is the end of Psalm number one. If you had to write Psalm number one in your own words, how would you write it? What themes would you bring up? What words seemed particularly archaic? or irrelevant? What words seemed all too relevant? I encourage you to, in your journals, write your own version of Psalm number one. God be with you till we meet again. Unseen wings protecting hide you daily, manna still provide you. God be with you till we meet again. 